Alright everybody, this is the moment that we've been waiting for. This is the um, Wine Expert Eclipse Barolo Wine that we're finally getting ready to bottle. As you guys know, bottling is one of my least favorite things. But, you know, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyway, this is our Barolo. And we're gonna be racking off of that sediment. I don't know if you can see it over there. I think you can. There's a lot of sediment on the bottom. So we're going to be using the auto siphon with the anti-sediment tip. We're going to be racking into this pail. Now, what you haven't seen is for the past hour I've been cleaning and sanitizing everything. Okay. Here are my bottles. I'm going to be doing the big bottles. Um, magnums they're called on my bottle tree and, you know one of the questions I get too is what do I do about corks well, what I do is I put my corks my corks are underneath this plate and they're soaking in sulfites so I keep the plate on to keep the sulfite fumes in to help sanitize the uh, the uh, corks I do that for at least a half hour if not more all right, so I'm gonna get set up, put my uh, little tiny video camera down, so uh, get started here. All right, so I started the siphon happening, and of course, before I did that, I made sure that that spigot is turned off, and we're letting the wine flow from this carboy down there. For those of you that, you know, are new to my videos, I'm using this auto siphon. Here's the auto siphon here. And it has a special tip on it that leaves the sediment behind and uh, takes just the wine. That's what we want to do is have as clear as possible of a wine. So that's what we're doing. We're using this auto siphon to get the, the uh, wine from this carboy down into this pail. So I'm going to let that finish and we'll be right back. Alright, the next thing I have here is this uh, sorbate, potassium sorbate. Now the direction says said to put this in at the last step, but sorbate is something I typically put in right prior to bottling. So I decided to stay with my normal practices of putting it in right before bottling. Usually I only add sorbate if I am um, back sweetening my wine. Um, I'm not back sweetening this wine and it's kind of an optional step here to put this in um, as far as I'm concerned unless I was going to back sweeten the wine I would have to put it in but I'm going to be putting it in now anyway into there and I'm going to stir it up. So I got my cleaned and sanitized spoon. Anything that touches the wine I typically meticulously clean. So I'm going to be adding this powder out of this packet and stirring it in. Alright, so I just added the powder and I'm stirring. I'm just going to incorporate it really well and then we're going to get ready for bottling. Alright. So, you don't have to watch me stir. I'm going to stir this in for a little bit and make sure it's thoroughly in there. Catch it a little bit. Alright, so I have my bucket set up with the tubing. Going down to my bottle filler. And the bottle filler, basically the way it works is there's a pin on the end. When you touch the pin to the bottom of the bottle, then the wine will come out. So I'm going to be filling up these bottles all to about this area and we'll get ready to do that in a second. Now an important thing to do is to have an extra bottle on the side so that when you're transferring, taking these bottles out, putting new ones in, you could not spill wine all over the place so have a place for the wine to go. So I put one bottle there just as a safety. So 
I'm going to be turning on my spigot. Here goes the wine. Whoa! And you'll see this bottle getting filled. On these dark, dark bottles, it's kind of hard for you guys to see. It's kind of hard for me to see too. If I could zoom in over there, maybe you can see it a little bit better. When I get to the end, I put the pin to the edge of the bottle because the The tubing itself takes up some volume and you will overflow the bottle if you don't do that. Okay, so there's one bottle down. I'll do the next bottle. And while that one's going, I'm going to take this lighter colored bottle, put it in here. Hopefully it's a little easier for you guys to see. here I pull it out touch the pin to the end of the bottle fill it up to about there okay all right so I'm gonna pause this and fill the rest of the bottles the same exact way all right guys 14 and a half big bottles now This is what the wine looks like. Beautiful, shining, and even though it's only 8.28 in the morning, we're going to give this a try. At bottling, this is a totally remarkable wine. It's delicious. Probably one of the best I've ever made, so I would highly recommend this um, wine expert Barolo kit absolutely wonderful now it's wonderful now I would bottle that and all these bottles are going to go and they're going to sit in my uh, wine rack for probably six months so I made all that other wine so I could give this one some time to age alright so now I'm going to cork now, if you notice, I did the big bottles. Whoa. Did the big bottles, the magnums. And I have this floor corker that my beautiful wife got me for uh, Christmas. Now, the thing about this corker is this particular one, they're not all the same, so be careful which one you get. Problem is, when you put the bottle on this, that pin on the bottom could hit the floor if it's not high enough, so you might not be able to fit the big bottles. This particular one fits the big bottle, so I'll put the link for this one at the bottom of uh, this video. Uh, this particular one is amazing. So, let me see if I can set this up so you can see the whole process. Man, doing everything, holding the camera with one hand. Alright, I'm going to try to set up the camera so you can see. Alright, hopefully you can see that. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to take one of my corks 
and load it into the top. And take one of my bottles, which I have right here. Place that bottle in, and you see the bottle fits. The other corkers, the bottle doesn't fit. And what I'm going to do, squeeze that down. Now I have a bottle that has a cork in it. Alright, so I'm going to be doing that for all the rest of my bottles. And you want to see that again? Sure you do. Put a cork in. Take a bottle. Put the bottle on the bottom. Again, this particular one it fits these bottles. Fits all the bottles. If you get one that looks just like it, it only fits just the regular sized wine bottles. There you have it. Alright, so I'm going to cork up the rest of these and we'll be back. Alright guys, here are my bottles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them stay upright for about um, three, four, or five days. Then I'll put the caps and labels on them and put them sideways in my uh, wine rack. Hey, so that is the Wine Expert Eclipse Barolo kit. And I hope you enjoyed watching me make it. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. And uh, this is a keeper. I'm definitely going to be ordering another one of these kits uh, for sure because it's outrageously great. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this one and take care. Check back. Please subscribe to my channel if you like what you're seeing. And if you like what you're seeing, like my videos. That would be great. You'd be helping me out a lot anyhow. And um, thanks for stopping by. And uh, hope that helps you. Take care. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube. And check out my blog at www.cooking-italian-recipes.com for great Italian recipes, tips on organic gardening, winemaking, and uh, herbalism, and all other kind of fun stuff that I'm into. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. Take care.